Hey guys, Pinobi here, bringing you the Pokemon Narrative Wi-Fi Battle. This is going to be an NU tier battle versus NBZ, uh, the one and only Emperor NBZ. Really uh, awesome guy. Um, he's like one of the first people I actually watched uh, videos of. One of the first people I ever saw do an NU tier battle, actually. Maybe even the first person. So maybe even before Xenon, if I think about it. So, uh, really cool to get a battle with him. Just want to say real fast, if you haven't seen my latest Ninbuzz video, it was a Pokemon Narrative Wi-Fi Battle. I'm going to leave a link below. Also, if you haven't seen uh, Wild Chase's guest narration for me, I'll leave a link below. I'm going to be having a lot of people guest narrate for me in the near future, or at least a few people. So I hope you guys will be receptive of uh, their narrations. They're all really great guys, so I hope that you will uh, give those videos uh, some attention. Check them out, see if you like them. I'm also going to do some narrations for other people, so make sure to pay attention to my guest appearances playlist on my channel. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, yeah, he's going to lead with his Mantler, the famous Mantler. I'm going to lead with my Wild Chase. I know that Yamla's faster, so I'm just going to go for a substitute in case he wants to go for the Confuse Ray or the T-Wave. He does go for the T-Wave, which is amazing for me. So I'm just going to go for the Hypnosis, but even with the Compound Ice, it's going to miss. Oh my gosh, I'm that, that Hypnosis is not liking me lately. But I'm just going to go ahead and switch out, just because uh, I think he's going to want to go for an attack move now, so I can't really take the chance of subbing and all that kind of stuff. But he actually goes straight to his Knock Towel because it has the Insomnia, and he's going to go for Hypnosis, and it's going to miss while I get up the rocks. So, pretty even Steven. Just going to go into my ZZ Master, knowing that I have the Insomnia, which is going to work out great for me. So he's going to go ahead and just go for the Nightshade, just to see what I'm going to do while I have to go for the T-Wave. Not sure if he carries the Psycho Shift or not. I don't think he does. But just in case, since I don't really have much to do to him, since I know he has Roost, no sense in S-Tossing, I'm going to go straight to my Cleric. I know I could get Leech Seed on him, and uh, I have Seed Bomb and all that kind of stuff, even if he resists it. I just think it would be a better matchup for me. But he actually used Whirlwind just to scout my team, I guess. He didn't really have rocks up, so it didn't do too much for him. And I'm just going to go ahead and go for a Flamethrower here. I didn't really expect him to go for the, um, the Hypnosis. I guess I could have got a free sub there, but it really wouldn't have done much, because then I would just attack while he Whirlwinds. So this, this at least gives me Sleep Fodder to go into my Rocket Man. And I know I can fire off a super effective Crunch, but I'm thinking he's going to predict that. So... Uh, predicting the Mantler to come in to get the Intimidate, I'm just going to go straight for the Hydro Pump, which is going to be really beneficial for me, because even without the Rocks, I think that it would have been a two-hit KO, just barely, although with lefties, and eh, maybe I would need the Rocks. Go for the second Hydro Pump, and it misses. Luckily for me, he's going to predict the Switch uh, and go for a T-Wave, so that was really good for me, man. If he had gone for the T-Bolt, I could have lost my Sharpedo, and that would have been dangerous. So, yeah. Obviously, he can outspeed me and go for the T-Bolt, so I'm just going to go straight to my land before time. Really don't want to lose my Sharpedo, and since this is a Cleric, I can just get the Sleep off my Typhlosion, which I'm sure I'll need later, since Typhlosion and Sharpedo are my two, like, sweepers, so really can't afford to have them, uh, disabled with statuses. So while I go ahead and uh, clear the status off my team, he's going to put up a T-Wave on me. I think he's going to switch to his Sweeper now, so I'm just going to go straight for a Leech Seed. Um, especially if he went to a Sweeper with Substitute, it could have been really dangerous for me if I had gone for the Aromatherapy, which is probably what he predicted. So that's great for me. He goes to an Ampharos, which would normally be a great play, because normally Meganiums are special attackers with Energy Ball, which would not do Jack Diddly Balls to an Ampharos. But I'm actually uh, physical with Seed Bomb, which is going to do about a third, um, you know, not counting the rocks and stuff. So really awesome for me. And he went for a Focus Punch predicting a switch, which would have been hilarious if it landed, but it didn't. He was probably predicting my Sand Slash to come in. I don't know, but he has the HP Ice, so if that were the case, he could have just gone for that. I don't know. but Or maybe it's HP Fire. Hell if I know. Could be even HP Flying. Who knows? But anyway, I went for the Aromatherapy that turn, just so that I could get the status off my Meganium. Don't have to worry about the Parahax, and it means that I can outspeed. I was going to predict his switch, actually, which is why I go for the Leech Seed. I thought he would want to go to his uh, Sophos, probably, but uh, that's not going to be the case. He just has to stay in, and I really don't want to take another one of those hidden powers, and I'm confident that after that last Leech Seed, I will be able to take him out with a Seed Bomb, so that's going to be my game plan, and I do get a critical hit. I don't think it mattered. Maybe with Max and Min it could have mattered. I don't know. This battle was fairly hacksy overall, but I think the hacks were pretty evenly spread. So he goes into his freaking Entei, which is a big counter to my team and something I didn't want to see. I know it's not shiny, so it can't be the event Entei, so I go straight to my ZZ Master, thinking it's special in nature, but it's actually physical, and he misses a Stone Edge. So, uh, yeah, really, really not good for him. He's going to go for a Fire Fang, which does about 60%, I'd say, maybe a tad 
bit more, I don't know. While well, I just go for a Thunder Wave, because if he does manage to kill off my Hypno, at least I can outspeed with my Sharpedo with him paralyzed and go for a hidden or go with, go for a Hydro Pump, because I don't think Aqua Jet will kill. And like I said, that Entei is a big, big uh, counter to my team. Also, I could probably get a free sub up with Typhlosion. Uh, just by continuously subbing until he got para hacks and then use two focus blasts to kill him off. So go to my Koopa Troop because it's my physical wall, thinking he'll be afraid of the earthquake. So I'm just going to go for the knockoff on the switch after all these end turn effects of leftovers. And yeah, Mr. Zed does go straight to his jingle, which is going to take super effective damage from knockoff. All 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 all. But uh, more importantly, it's going to get rid of his lefties, which as a uh, wall is going to be good for me. Just going to go ahead and switch out now into my land before time because. Uh, I thought I could handle him with Seed Bomb and Leech Seed and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to force him to switch around and get Entry Hazards damage. I suppose I could have gone into my um, my Sharpedo, but I didn't want to uh, risk him having the T-Bolt on this thing or anything like that. So he does put me to sleep. I really didn't expect the Hypnosis, uh, which perhaps was bad of me. But I'm just going to go straight into my Rocket Man. And now I'm going to go for the Crunch, because uh, I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm actually a special Sharpedo, not mixed. So I'm going to take that to my advantage, predict the switch to his special wall, and if he stayed in, uh, yeah, it's also going to be super effective. So that Crunch is going to really come in handy. Now he's going to bring in the Mantler, go for the Incimidite, and I don't know if Hydro Pump is going to kill. I don't want to risk the Max and Min, so I'm going to go straight into my Meganium, predicting the T-Bolt, so that I can get rid of this pesky, pesky sleep. Or at least that's what he thinks. So I'm going to predict him to switch out, and I'm going to go back into my Rocket Man, which is a really risky play, but there wasn't really anything he could do to me, so it actually worked out really, really well. And now that the Rock's damage has uh, taken its toll on Entei, I know I can't outspeed if he has uh, max speed, so I don't want to risk getting no damage, so I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet, because the only thing I can really switch into is Sand Slash. And if I switch into Sand Slash, we would just keep switching around and around forever. And this was at his live stream, so didn't really want to do that. So I just went for the Aqua Jet, hoping it would take him down to where Hypno could kill him off with an S-Toss, knowing that I could tank one hit. Thankfully for me, he doesn't get the flinch, because Fire Fang can flinch. And thankfully, uh, Seismic Toss is enough to kill. He was at exactly 100 HP, so yeah, that worked out really well for me. So he brings in his Mantler, and I'm like, okay, he brings in Mantler, no biggie. I think I went for a T-Wave. No, no, I go for a Protect here. <laughs> That's right. Just to get a little extra lefties recovery. I don't think he has uh, anything to take advantage of that uh, turn. And I'd rather have the lefties, uh, even with him getting lefties as well. And he goes for Shadow Ball, and it's going to get a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered or not. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. But I was just going to go for, I think, the T-Wave there anyway, so I could uh, hopefully uh, sub down and make him get Parahaxed at least once with my Typhlosion. Now, I could have gone for the sub, but I didn't. For some reason, I'm thinking that he's going to know that I have sub, even though he probably thinks I'm choiced. So, yeah, whatever. He's going to get the T-Wave. I go into my land before time, because I really, 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 really cannot afford my Typhlosion to keep that Paralysis. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need my Typhlosion to be my game ender. So I have to try my best to get this Meganium to wake the freak up, you lazy Meganium. So I know he could go for the Nasty Plot, but I can't afford to switch because the only thing that could take him out is Typhlosion, and if he went for a straight attack like a Heat Wave, even with the Resist, um, he could outspeed, go for Hyper Voice, and maybe finish off my Typhlosion, and I really just don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to stay in. Thankfully, I wake up and get the Aromatherapy off, which means that my Typhlosion is no longer hindered. And assuming he's Life Orb, which is like 99% of Chat's Hot are, unless they're Focus Sash, it's going to be really good because that Life Orb recoil is going to put him down to where a Flamethrower can finish him off. And uh, to add insult to injury, I can tank one hit, get the Leech Seed off. And with the additional Leech Seed recovery from one turn, plus the two Life Orb recoils, uh, Flamethrower should be an overkill, even without my Pattaya Berry. So I do just go for the Flamethrower, confident that uh, if I went for a Substitute, he would just break it, so no sense in doing that. So he brings out his Jingle. Um, the reason I don't go for Sub here is because uh, after the Leftovers recovery of me going for Substitute, I think he might be able to survive a hit since Jingle has high special defense, so I'm going to go straight for the uh, Flamethrower. And now that he brings in Mantler, I'm going to go for the Substitute since he keeps trying to go for T-Wave, but now he actually goes for Shadow Bomb. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe seeing that I have different... maybe thinking that I'm not choice or whatever the case may be. 
but I am actually going to be able to take a hit uh, and not break my sub, which is really good for me, and it makes me think that that crit on Hypno maybe mattered, I don't know. But either way, I'm going to fire off a Focus Blast, outspeeding and finishing the game. So, great game, NBZ. Uh, he is a really, really amazing video maker. I would check out his channel if I were you. He's been playing this game for years longer than me. Um, one of the few people that inspired me, so yeah. Great game, dude. Check out his channel. Really awesome. Like if you enjoy. Peace.